have uh, Gemini PDA as um, two USB ports. One can be used for charging, for example, or connecting to a PC. On the other one, um, you can uh, buy a cable uh, to HDMI out, so you can connect a screen. So this made the Gemini, Gemini PDA uh, really interesting uh, for special kind of use, especially for um, for desktop for desktop um, environment. So if you connect the Gemini uh, to another screen, you will be able to have uh, a desktop environment directly. And as you already have a keyboard on it, uh, you don't need an external keyboard. Uh, you can use already the, the keyboard on it. And if you don't have a mouse, you can even use directly a mouse as a, the screen as a touchpad. This is more for backup when you don't have a mouse, but it can work like this. And um, as, there is a, as there is a big keyboard, you can use, uh, you can use productivity application uh, quite easily. And uh, for companies, for example, uh, it can be a great um, on-the-go device so when you are at the office, uh, you plug the Gemini with a, maybe a real keyboard, full full size keyboard, and you can use it. When you are, you are in the, on the go, you can use uh, the Gemini PDA with its own keyboard. And uh, even for the application with uh, the Oxy desktop environment, um, you can use when you are on the go the Android application if you don't have connectivity. But once you have uh, internet connectivity or network local network connectivity you will be able to use um, the application from the office. Uh, for example, a full, uh, complete uh, Microsoft Office suite. Uh, you can use Photoshop. Uh, you can use uh, maybe SolidWorks, uh, um, Sage application, uh, directly on, this, on, um, on the Oxy environment without any computer. Uh, it will be directly hosted by the company. So that means this device plus Oxy Plus, uh, our digital workspace solution uh, is a perfect uh, is a perfect all-in-one device for the for business. So currently, uh, Oxy interface is quite simple but efficient. Uh, you will find uh, a, a cute start menu button, a taskbar, and uh, some notification, uh, some status icon on notification. So. We have all the notification from the phone. Uh, we can open application uh, if we click directly on the notification. Uh, we can set up all the settings directly from here, if you want. And uh, on the, the menu was conceived to be the most efficient possible. So you have quick access to the most recent application, uh, the application you use the most, and the new application that you just installed. Uh, you have a, an access uh, to close Oxy and uh, to have settings. And if you click here, you have access to all applications with a small filter. It's really simple, but it's, it's efficient. So I can launch an application. Uh, for example, I will launch a file manager, like this. And uh, I can, there is a magnet feature, so you can put it on one side, side you can uh, go full screen uh, you can go full screen like this and uh, for example if you have a video uh, you can put it if you have a big content you can put it in full screen but you can also put it in full screen which will remove all other information which can be really useful if you play for example a movie um, so the big feature of Oxy is able to launch a lot of Android applications at the same time. Uh, the application should be running in... Uh, yeah, this one. Uh, the applications are running in tablet mode, uh, like that one. The other one was not, but maybe just uh, some issue to fix, sorry. <laughs> Um, there is no limitation on uh, what application you can launch on Oxy. Uh, most application, uh, most um, productive productivity application are working well. Uh, most basic application, IM application, are working. Uh, some games might have some issue right now, but uh, we can identify them and um, 
and we are working on a new way of resizing them right now. Um, we have a possibility to connect uh, to, um, especially for office, we have for, for the office work, we have the possibility to connect Oxy to a digital workspace solution. In that case, uh, you will find in the start menu, in all the application, uh, additional applications that are not on the phone, but are on uh, the server from your company. Uh, right now, I'm so really sorry, I'm, I can try to have, uh, to have a demo, but as we have a really poor reception here with uh, internet, it might not work a lot. But for example, we can have GIMP uh, or the full uh, Microsoft Office suite. So here we have, um, we have the Android Excel and we have the Windows Excel. I can start with Windows Excel. I'm not sure it's going to work. I hope so. Yeah, usually this this should not appear because it's quite fast, but we can uh, we can have it. Yeah, so now we have a full Excel uh, directly inside Oxy, and the user didn't have to put any login, any uh, to go to any portal. He has directly access to his data, and um, in uh, the short roadmap, uh, we will add. Um, a unified file management. So when you work on the, the remote application, uh, your data will be automatically synced up with your device. So when you lose the connectivity, you will be able to uh, continue working on the file uh, with the Android application instead of the full Windows version application. Uh, and when you go back, when you get back on, <laughs> sorry, when you get back online, you will be able to start again working online. And all of this while the phone is still completely uh, usable. Uh, the small limitation is you cannot start applications that are already start on, um, on the other screen. So we started Oxy three years ago and uh, we started development of Oxy three years ago and the VID was uh, a bit more older than that. And uh, we start to have a really complete solution, really stable and um, now with the addition of a digital workspace and uh, the, the possibility to use a device like the Gemini, uh, we have a really full complete solution um, to work with Android and without any other PC.